I heard she sold her child. You heard me. I heard she sold her child and for a very good amount. So. Why do you look confounded if what you told me is true? Yes, if I remember correctly, you said you did not father the child and you did not even know who fathered the child. Oh, do you? Is it yours? Or his? The prince? Right. Maybe it's one of those numerous men who come to bed. I told you that. I heard. I am sorry. But why did you do it? I mean, if you needed anything, why didn't you just ask me? Why didn't you ask the king to, to inform me? I know I don't have much, but I would have worked it out. Oma. Oma, please don't be angry with me. I had to do what I had to do. I told you. If it's consolation, I am already paying the price. I mean, it's bad enough that I'm stuck with a woman I don't love. It's a living hell for me already. Why did you let him go? I could go. He was going to love my mom. I couldn't let that happen. And the king, he had always wanted a child ever since I had him. And when this happened, he was the only one who could help with the king. He was going to take him one way or the other. I love him. I miss him. But he took him away from me. And now there's nothing more to live for. It's alright. I am sorry I have not been around you recently. But I promise you, I always check on you from time to time. I know it's late, but I will manage. We will not be here for long.
Look. I will have this hundred thousand naira every month. As long as the child remains with him. How may I help you? My princess, I brought you fresh doves. Drop it there. Thank you. My princess, lunch should be ready in an hour. But before then, is there something you would like me to do for you?
talk about father oh you must forgive me father for I have lost touch with your type of conversation having lived in the convent for five years father we can discuss at length the Bible from Genesis to Revelation <laughs> oh songs of Solomon let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth for his love is better than wine. By night, on my bed, I sought him whom my soul loveth. I sought him. My two breasts are like, are like. Where are you from? How dare you? I dare, father. I dare. Do not forget that I am no longer a girl. I am a grown woman who has been toughened by the wind and the weather of the church. I have been fed on the Bible for the good of my soul. And the food I got for my body, your maids would have thrown it at your face. You left me at that convent to rot. If I hadn't been thrown for I was a great temptation to the priest. You sent me there so my soul be chastised. But what you forgot, Father, was the ruination of my Grandpa say you're my auntie. Yes, I am. Grandpa say my mommy is in heaven. <sighs> if heaven is a fairy pit below, and little creatures running around with horns. Grandpa say heaven is up in the sky. What does Grandpa know? He's an old man. And the poor could ride the horse to the hills. To every wish is of his heart. What are you doing here? It's so late. I want to talk to you. Right now, at this point, I... I am going mad. Why did you have to come out this late in the night? Because I wanted to hold you. I want to feel your warmth. No. No. I can't do this anymore. Sit with you. You know the stories going about. You know what they say about me. That I'm a whore. Feel my warmth and have another child. I would kill myself if that happens. Mama, I love you. I love you with every fiber in me. I love you with every breath in my body. Nobody knows more than me about the suffering you've been through. I will not hurt you. I just want to be near you, hold you, look into your eyes, tell you about my day. That's the only way I can pull through. I am desperate. I have no happiness in my home. I mean, now is even worse. Now 
now that she's desperately in need of a child. But I can't, I can't even see myself touching her or going any close to her. And she's fighting me for it. Mama, please. I, I don't know what will happen if you don't allow me to see you anymore. I just want to be near you. Every now and then. Please. I promise you I won't hurt you. God's name, are you coming from? It's fine, no. You can play deaf all you want. But I will have you know that there is no way I will be in this house and have you go out whenever you like and come back when you like. No! That stops now, like today! Do you hear me? How are you responsible? So shameless! What kind of a mind man comes home whenever he likes? Now this is it. I'm not she. I know when I'm being taken for granted. And right this minute, I refuse to be taken for granted. At least not anymore. Tell me. Tell me of a responsible young man who comes home to his wife by this time of the night. Tell me. What is wrong with you? What have I even done to you? Right. Into. Have the balls to tell me that you went to see her. You were with your heart. Tell me, I can take it. I can take anything. So this is it. 
do you do you want anything? Actually, I want something. I want my husband back. And I'm here to warn you to stay away from him. By the way, where is he? Where are you hiding him? Onuche is not here. Oh, you re even refer to him as Onuche now. You liar. I'm not lying. He's not here. You can go look for yourself. told you last night. I will make sure I do it and I will do it to the very last. I am warning you for the last time. Go home. Sorry. I promise you it will not happen again. What are you going to do to her? Please don't touch her. She's not wrong. It will only make things worse if you do. Don't worry. I won't touch her. I'm a city I'm a city one you're mine. Be keeping the night, get you got them all. Oh, I'm a city lady. Be keeping the night. We saw him. We saw him. Say, Jesus. And the Polish company was playing. Oh. He climbed the wall at the far end of the palace. It was not too high so we could see him clearly. How long have you been watching him? Three weeks now. Aku went with me today. He's always playing in the company. Come on.
don't cry now. I beg you, don't cry now. Everything's gonna be fine. Just believe in yourself. I must be late. I must be real. Ezugo, there's something you should know right away. That child is not Adugo's child, but yours. He is your son. That child was living under some terrible conditions. Squalor and poverty was the order of the day. And I couldn't bear the thought of him growing up under such conditions. But one thing I did was to make sure that the child was yours before taking any step. So he's your son. You don't have anything to say? Ezuka! Oh, How are you? How have you been? Well, I'm fine. How are you, sister? I am fine. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Oh, I've been alive. Have you seen him? Who? Oh. The young prince. Oh, I do go all this while and you still haven't changed. Oh, come on, bro. How can princess Abdu go change? I never change. I'm wrong. You know what? Let's get out of here. Let's go talk. I was not talking with that. Don't forget this old man. Let's go. Daddy, later. Let's go. Let's go. Come here. It's an old man. I have a discussion much later.
There shall be one less mile to feed Whenever a rich man finds a friendship with the poor And the poor could ride the horse to the hills To every wish is of his heart oh, na, 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 na. There shall be one less mile to feed When the field is level for everyone to deal And the level through the time and the seasons There's a fruit for every labor out So let's fix this broken world I want you to legalize your claim over this child by recognizing him as your heir. And what happens when I marry father? Do you think any woman will accept her son play second fiddle? To an illegitimate child? Yes, you go. He eats your son. of an introvert since you returned. Is it intentional? I have reverted to my status. Well, I've been meaning to talk to you. About what? The child. Your son. What about the child? What is wrong with you? This is something you have to accept whether you like it or not. Look. That child will take place as your heir. I am not usually the person that supports father, but here we are. Well, sorry to disappoint you, the father. When life throw you stone, no. carry and build house. If life will pour you water, carry and bath clean. There's no problem in this world without a solution. Hey, what are you doing there? <laughs> Hey. Please. I'm 
deeply sorry for what happened on that day. Please, forgive me. If you care so much about the child, that you have to climb the fence, then why did you let him go? Why did you sell him? I didn't sell him. I was told you sold him. That's not true. But you receive 100,000 Naira every month. Am I correct? Yes. I... But I didn't sell him. If that's what he told you, he lied. So why did you let him go? It was because of my sister. She stole a piece of necklace. They were going to lock her up. He was the only one who could help with the case. But he wouldn't do it unless I gave him the child. He had always wanted him ever since he was born. But I refused. I took the money. But then I returned it. For a piece of necklace? I mean, it's been five years now. It's been a long time. Why do you want him back? He's mine. He's the only thing I have that is truly mine. Okay. Uh, uh, please stop. Something is bothering me, Father. What? The girl and her child. Has she tried to see him? Of course not. But you told me you pay her monthly. How? What? How does she get her money? I thought we discussed this before. Didn't we? Why are you bothering me with all these questions? And why this sudden interest in the girl? Because she's the mother of the child, isn't she? No one is arguing that, at least not me. So I ask again, how does she get her money? DK takes the money to her in a hut at the outskirts of the village. Excuse me. In a hut? I'll sketch of the village. What happens to her monthly allowance? I mean, wouldn't that get a comfortable accommodation somewhere? Why in a hut? <laughs> well, you know these people are like rats. They love to stick to their holes. Oh. I see. For a rat, I must say, she does it really well. Father. I need to speak to you. Please give me one minute. Please, don't blank me off. It's important. I won't leave here until I've spoken to you.
is about the child. Can you please step out and have a seat? Let's have heart to heart conversation. your child back. I... I... You don't mean that. He won't let you give him back to me. He has no rights over you. I should be the one to decide what happens to him from today onwards. Will you really give him back to me? Of course. But on one condition, he won't be living here with you. I will have to get a comfortable accommodation for both of you. And he will be addressed as Prince Ezugu Derek Omenka Jr. That will be his name. Why are you doing this? I want to make up for the wrongs I did to you. Before going back to London. But the king, he has grown very fond of the child. He won't let you give him back to me. Yeah. Who is he? He's the prince. What? What are you doing with him? It's all right. I have to tell you something. He said he wants to give me the child back. Why? He's sorry. I was scared of him at first. But he's not the devil I think he is. He's just like everyone else. No, he's not. And you know it. Listen, he cannot give you that child if he's not expecting something from you. What can he possibly want from me that would make him want to give me the child back? Omar, I don't know. But this man, what he did before, he can do it again. I am just telling you, so you have to be very careful. Anyway, I, I'll be on my way. Is everything all right? He seems to be overprotective of you. He's always been there for all of us. I am sorry for my outburst yesterday. It's just that I don't trust the motive. In fact, I don't trust any of them. I am worried. Oma, why don't you just move? I can help you arrange for a place in any of these neighboring villages. We might actually be moving when I have the child. The prince, he says he will move us into the city. The child cannot stay here. And it's paying for everything. I can't pay for it, can I? Hey, I am warning you. Men like him will not promise houses to people like you. Unless they want something. He's just trying to pay for what he did. And you believe him? You want to live here? Let me be the one to do it for you. 
not when I'll have my child. Let the rain from heaven wash away every day in suffering. Suffering. I don't feel like worrying, Father. What do you mean you're not going? Today is opening ceremony, proclaiming the hunting games uh, uh, festival. Um, Everybody will want to see you there. Mm -hmm. Well, that would be interesting, but to be honest, I don't feel like going. What is wrong with you, bro? You have something to become a board. You should go back to London. Oh, well, very soon I will be going back to London. Wow. Go slay at that festival. Have fun, sister. I'll take good care of you. Don't be in trouble. See you when I see you. Okay. I'm a Wash away every tears and suffering. Tears and suffering. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Honor. Oh, my serenity. I must be mighty when you're your measure. Let the tears I've been seen a saint child wipe away every pain and misery from the places of opulence to the dwellings and slums. By the tears of all my series. Where are we? We are here to see the people living here. Say hello to her. So big boy, do you want to play? You want to play? Is it tricky? Ah. You're good, you're a good boy. Okay, so I just thought I should. But you don't have a seat, please. I wanted him to come see you before the final arrangements were made. My lawyer said the house will be ready in a few weeks to come. So we are actually on the transaction which will be completed pretty soon. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to say anything. I've been thinking, what if he doesn't like me? What if he doesn't like being taken to a new place with strange people? Derek is a child and I promise you he's going to get used to it. As you can see already, he's playing. <laughs> That's something he never had. So don't worry about that. And your father? Well, my father doesn't know about it yet. He wouldn't allow it. My father can never act otherwise. The boy is biologically and legally mine. Okay? So don't worry about that. 
I mean, it's not a bad idea for me to bring him over to see the mother. I've never asked. What is your name? Oma. Um, Oma Seri. Oma Seri. That's a beautiful name. On my way back. Father, she was she was carrying the young prince, feeding the young prince of their poisonous, her poisonous. Oh, oh my... Adogo, you must be mistaken. Father, I wish I were. God, <sighs> get ready, Nani. Fast. Father, I will not take it. Stop, Adogo. Stop! If this is true, then there must be more to it. Father! 
She is a low life scum. She's a whore. But I, she's just calling him. Oh, be quiet, Adugo. I'm sure there is nothing between both of them. How do you know that? Your Highness. Where is Derek? The prince went out with him this morning. Oh. Oh. And he didn't tell you where they were going? No, Your Highness. Ah. Okay, you believe. I said it. But you didn't believe me. I said it. <gasps> Go tell DK to get the car ready. Yes, Your Highness. They're coming with me. Of course, Father. Can you explain? Explain what? How dare you take him to that, to that filthy whore? How dare you? Isugo, you have no sense of decency. Good. I'm telling you, you don't even understand what your position is in this place. Not at all. You don't even know the difference between right and wrong. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? You talk about decency? You talk about what's right and wrong? You manipulated her by playing on her psyche. That's a lie. Oh, that's true, Father. You took the child away by capitalizing on her plight. You bought the child for a piece of necklace, Father. A piece of necklace. And you talk to me about right and wrong? You lie again. No, I'm not lying. I raped the girl. You punished me for it. And now... I wish to atone for it by giving her back the fruits of my sins to right the wrong I did to her. Is it too much to ask? Now you listen. Let me break this down for you. Father has been taking care of that child since he was born. You cannot take him to that, to that, to that wretched war. You cannot. Enough. Don't worry about that, my dear sister. He's not going to live there. I am buying them a house. <sighs> No, you wouldn't do that. But I would. The child is mine. Biologically, legally, he is my responsibility, Father. And his life is mine to order. And I bet the only place for her is with the mother. You shouldn't worry about that. By the month end, the arrangements has been made and they will be moving in. And there is nothing you can do about it, Father. Or my dear sister. Now you listen. I will not, I will not allow you to take him to her. I would rather see him now, dead. Now watch your tongue. You dare not call her a whore. Because you are worse than a whore. You are ruthless and heartless. Enough, enough. Step up. Excuse me. Father, 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 father. Come down. Adugo, come down, come down. What are we going to do about this? Nothing. Father, you said nothing? There must be something we can do about this. There must be a legal way we can do something about this. The child belongs to him. He already has legal recognition for the child. Then, Father, if there's nothing we can do legally, we can do something illegally. No. I can take the child. No. Well, what are we going to do, Father? What? If you come down, you will hear what we will do. Okay. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. We'll discuss this tomorrow. In the meantime, you're going to keep an eye on the little boy. <sighs> and make sure that he doesn't leave this place. Secondly, if by any chance Izugu tries to carry out his threat, inform me at once. <sighs> and we'll know what to do about it. <sighs> Now you stupid, stupid.
So the house is almost ready. I mean, before the moon's runoff, it's gonna be fully ready. So I don't mind if you come to the city with me because I'll be going to the city pretty soon. At least to, you know, take a look at the house and see what it looks like. You look troubled. Are you okay? Now ask yourself a question. Have you ever known a sky do anything for people like you without expecting something in return? Ask yourself another question. Why would the prince, the heir to King Omenka, give you a son just like that? The same son he claimed legally. Why? But I will tell you. Because when you go into that house, he will have access to you. He can come in and go in anyhow he pleases. What would that make you? You will just be an ordinary mistress. Yes, that's what you will be. It doesn't matter if I'm your mistress. As I've been called, a whore, a, a husband snatcher, just because of you. I can't even go far into the village without your wife watching me. A mistress, that is what she thinks of me. If I go to his house, I will have my son. If I go to yours, I won't. And I want my son. That would be a strange arrangement. Hey, come on. There is nothing strange about it. I just want to make sure everything is settled before traveling back to London. I just make sure my son is fine. I mean, I can be able to see him anytime. So don't worry. The house is yours, all right? Fully equipped. And part of the reasons I want you to follow me to the city is signing the necessary documents concerning it. Okay? Please don't say no. I, I just want to make sure you guys are comfortable because I won't be coming here pretty soon. It will take months or years. Please. Thank you. So, it's a done deal. Thank you. Thank you. So, I will be coming to pick you up tomorrow. Okay. I'll be on my way. So I'll be on my way. See you tomorrow. Sorry. You've never asked me for my name. Would you want to know what my name is? My name is Ezugunna, or you can call me Ezugu. Okay, see you tomorrow. There shall be one less mile to be Whenever a rich man finds out